Well, at least we had one great one, right? What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Animation Station, your number one stop destination for anything and everything animation. Pokemon Black. This movie is not bad. It is not a terrible piece of crap, like something like Arceus or Giratina or Jirachi. Nothing like that. But this movie is painfully average and extremely boring. Like, I expected much more. Especially because this is the movie that's coming right off the heels of Zoroark. Which I freaking loved, as you guys saw in my last review. Okay, so I'll start with my positives, because I do have a few. And then I'll talk about the negatives, and why I think this movie is so painfully dead center average that it's just disappointing. Now, please excuse me if I'm accidentally watching these backwards, but I'm going off- So, yeah, and it's from like the official Pokemon encyclopedia site, so if it's wrong, I'm sorry. So. Okay, what do I like about this movie? Well, the 2D animation is smoother and a lot better than the other movies. Even though there is a lot of butt ugly CGI, but we'll get to that later. Um, I think the design of Reshiram and Zekrom are cool. But they lack a bit of character. Uh, I think the dub's okay. Um, the story isn't horrible, but... I mean, it, it's pretty stereotypical Pokemon. Um, I love Victini as a Pokemon, not only for being adorable, but also just for... I don't know, I like its design and I like the character. And it has some cool ideas that just aren't executed very well. And I like Ash's new companions enough, like... The green hair guy is okay, but I really like Iris. She's one of the stronger female protagonists in this series. And a cool little fun fact, she's voiced by the same voice actress who voiced Zora in the last movie. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Not only that, she voices Iris in the anime as well. So, she voices the character in both the shows and the movies. So, yeah, that's an interesting little fact. And its pace is okay. Its setting is interesting. I like that it tried to be the Native American kind of Pokemon movie. But, I don't know. It just didn't really work for me. And the Pokemon battles are okay. They're fine. Now let's get to the negatives, because I have so many. For one, the writing's back to being crap. So it takes all the good potential the story had and throws it out the window. Uh, Damon is an absolutely terrible villain who literally explains his plan straight to the face of the actual hero characters, which is unbelievably stupid. Zekrom is cool, but lacks any actual character. The pace is slow. There is so much boring exposition. Team Rocket is in here for no reason. And it, it's, it just drags. Like, this movie is so boring. There's so much exposition dumping and boring crap. Like, ugh. Like, any time we get to an actual exposition scene, I was so tempted to just mash that skip button. Because I just tuned out. Because I was so freaking bored. And then, there is the... Abundance of terrible, forced, garbage, but ugly CGI. This one even worse than the past movies. To the point that it almost completely ruins the experience. Like, it is bad. It is some of the worst, most obvious, atmosphere-breaking CGI I have ever seen. It is so so bad. Like, seriously. 
like it's She-Hulk level bad. It is terrible, terrible CGI. It is awful. But like I said, the 2D animation is still good. And the dub is fine, but I'm not really the biggest fan of Ash's new voice actor. Or actress, I should say, because he's still being... I believe he's still being voiced by a girl. I haven't looked it up on IMDb yet. But I don't know. It just doesn't have that charm or ambiance of Veronica Taylor when she voiced the character when the show was first starting out. Like, that continues to be the definitive Ash, in my personal opinion. So... Yeah, I don't really know what else to really say, because... This movie should have been great, but instead, it just bored me. It was so boring, it was so dull, and it's just another painfully average Pokemon movie that is one, like, it's in one ear and out the other. Like, it is so boring, it is so tedious, and it was such a pain to sit through. It wasn't bad... But it rode that fine line at times with a terrible villain, but ugly CGI, terrible pacing, and some of the crappiest writing since Arceus in the Jewel of Life. Yeah, the writing is really that bad. So, yeah, for all those reasons, Final Verdict for B Pokemon Black is a 5 out of 10. It is boring, it is dull, and it is overall completely pointless. It could have been something cool, but instead, it's just a big disappointment. Victini's a cool Pokemon, but that's really it. The rest of it is super forgettable, super average, and just not worth watching. This is one that I think you can skip. Now, will white be any better? Well... We'll find out tomorrow, but until then, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And for those of you wondering where is the Mario movie review, um, fortunately, my uh, my screening got delayed. So, unfortunately, I probably the latest I'll be able to review that is probably Saturday. So, that's the latest you can expect the review, but if it happens earlier, great. If not, it is what it is. But I promise you, sometime by this weekend at the latest, you will have my Mario movie review, so. Yep, with all that said, thanks for watching, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Pokemon White.